Good morning, brothers and sisters. Here we are another day. Another day. Ah, I want to go home. This, by the way, channel, if you just got here, is about the promotion of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and the advancement of the kingdom of Father God. That's what we do here. Get the gospel out on a daily basis. What is the gospel? The gospel is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, that he came, died and rose again on the third day. That's the basis of the gospels. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, and keep these things in your heart, follow him, pick up your cross, walk with us, you are saved. And why do you need to be saved? Because there is eternal life for everyone. It's where you, where you spend it. Do you spend it in hell? Do you spend it in heaven? Sounds hard, but it's written more times in the Bible than heaven is. Hell. So we're trying to convince people that there's a Lord well, we don't really need to because it's been written in the Bible all the way through. 500 plus prophecies in the Bible. A third of the Bible is said to be prophecy and it's probably right. Prophecy is when something is said and then sometime later it happens. Well, up to now, most of these prophecies, if not 80% or more now, have happened since the beginning. Since the beginning. And even right back in Genesis, there's prophecy being written to say that Jesus would come. There's just oodles of prophecy. But this morning I thought I'd have a look at the Eastern Gate. It's sort of gone off the Richter scale a bit, the Eastern Gate. You know, and the Lord will enter through the East Gate. And right now it's bricked up. But I just want to, my readings, my findings on it, of the East Gate. The turning point came on June the 7th when the Israeli army broke through the Lion's Gate and returned control of the ancient city of Jerusalem to the Jewish people for the first time in 1,897 years. That's the Lion's Gate interesting point when i read uh, an article the article stated that some members of the group had suggested catching the jordan defenders of the city off guard by blowing up the sealed eastern gate it's been sealed the next fella that'll walk through that fella is our lord jesus christ my brother but the leaders of the group of orthodox jew had fervently protested the idea stating that the Eastern Gate can be opened only when the Messiah comes. Why does it say that then? Well, it does. It says in Ezekiel 43, 7, and the Lord said, and this is a vision to Ezekiel, the Lord give a vision to Ezekiel. And he said unto me, Son of man, at the place of the throne and the place of the soles of my feet, where I will dwell in the midst of the children of Israel forever, and my holy name shall be the house of Israel no more, defile, neither they, they nor their kings by their whoredom, nor by their carcasses of their kings in their high places. And on to say in Ezekiel 44, 1 to 3, Then he brought me back to the way of the gate of the outward sanctuary, which looped towards the east, and it was shut. Then said the Lord unto me, This gate shall be shut, it shall not be opened, and no man shall enter in by it, because the Lord, the God of Israel, hath entered in by it. Therefore it shall be shut. It is for the prince, and the prince, and he shall sit in it to eat bread before the Lord, and shall enter by the way of the porch of the gate, and shall go out by the way of the of the same. The gate will be opened when Jesus returns. Jesus is going to go through it. But just interesting um, prophecy that, that sort of not really concerned. We're concentrating on rapture, but this is concentrating on Lord's return. Jesus' feet down. Rapture is Jesus isn't coming down. We're going up to meet him. His second coming will be feet down on the Mount of Olives through the East Gate. But more articles are found on it, and the stage was set for the fulfilment of the prophecy more than 400 years ago in 1517 when the Turks conquered Jerusalem under the leadership of Solomon the Magnificent. He commanded that the city's ancient walls be rebuilt in the midst of rebuilding project. For some unknown reason, he ordered that the east, eastern gate be sealed up with stones. <laughs> so prophecies a prophecy 700 uh, Ezekiel yeah 700 BC 
to 400 AD, all being fulfilled, continually being fulfilled. The legends abound as to why Solomon chose, uh, closed the gate. The most believable one is that while the walls were being built, a rumour swept Jerusalem that the Messiah was coming. Solomon called together some Jewish rabbis and asked them to tell them about the Messiah. They described the Messiah was a great military leader who would be sent by God from the east. He would enter the eastern gate and liberate the city from foreign control. See how it all intertwines. And it's very interesting to see that the same thing happened at Jesus' birth. He was said to be the coming king. The Jews think that they're getting a ruler Messiah in, in a different way. And Jesus is the ruling Messiah. But they think it's going to be a king-style um, person that's going to earthly rule only so it's very difficult to get into that one i'll not go into that one but we can see at the eastern gate as so many things have been structured by father god to complete the fulfillment of the whole scripture of the end signs the end times are tribulation jacob's trouble again gonna happen gonna really happen this is in the last book of the bible in the book of revelation you know, if anybody isn't born again, if anybody isn't knowing Christ, then please come to Discord, guys. That's the only place we can lead you. There is salvation scripture in the description of this video. Um, and if you contact Brother Frank on the co on the comments, he will uh, guide you and pray for you. We'll all pray for you. But Discord is the only place I can send you to get fellowship. There's 2,000 in there now. Uh, 2100 it's growing by the day and there's a reason why that's growing and I, I don't know the reason <laughs> completely but I've got my ideas which I'll share over there to my brothers and sisters but I will keep on putting for edification um, prophecy and scripture together really to prove that the Lord did come and why he came he came to save the world he came as a new contract on the cross in the flesh to give us a new contract he didn't come for us that's me that is gentile he came for the jews because he was rejected by his own he threw the doors open and we can gracefully go in so don't trample on that grace brothers and sisters or those coming into christ come into christ before it's too late because when this tribulation starts it's never going to go back it'll not go back till jesus returns and comes through the east gate to rule with an iron rod. When you're in tribulation, salvation is to the end. Do it now. Confess Jesus is Lord now. Give him the lordship of your life now to avoid going through that terrible time. But I'll leave you with that, brothers and sisters, and say, may God bless you, keep you, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you this day and always. God bless.